everyone, my name is Janika and welcome to this vlog. Today I have a day off and the plan is to head into The Hague and visit two different museums and a cute little cafe. Okay, so unfortunately I don't know how this happened but I have somehow managed to lose all my camera footage from this day. But luckily I also happen to have quite a lot of clips from the day also on my phone. But I have lost all the clips where I'm talking to the camera, so we'll do this voiceover style instead. The first location of the day was a place called Panorama Meesdag. It seemed to be a very popular hotspot with the elderly, as it was literally just me and all the grandmas there. My favorite part of the museum was this panorama room that they had, but other than that, I honestly didn't think it was that special. Afterwards, I went to this really cute vegan cafe. Unfortunately, this seems to be the only clip that I have left of it. The second museum was dedicated to Holland's most famous graphic artist, MC Escher. The art is very cool and most of the work have optical illusions in them, so it hurts a bit your brain when you look at the artwork. And I feel like the longer you look, the more confusing it gets, but I really loved it. The museum itself was also located in a really beautiful building and I especially loved all the fun looking chandeliers that they had hanging there. morning today i don't need to work until 12 so for the morning now i have a breakfast date with a friend of mine we are going to this restaurant here in leiden called ted's and yeah it's a really great place where they have a bunch of different like breakfast and brunch portions so yeah i'm really excited i think it's a great way to start to this day and it also seems to be a blue sky today with great weather now but I was a bit early still waiting for my friend I'm the kind of person who is always too early everywhere what about you are you usually early or late or just on time Today it is the second last day of February and yesterday when we were out on a walk I noticed that there were surprisingly a lot of first signs of spring already and as being someone from Finland I'm used to that it's still full-on winter when it's February but here in the Netherlands you can already see the start of spring which for me is kind of mind-blowing so yeah I want to take you guys out with me for a little walk and I'll show you guys a bit how far along the spring is already here the first sign no Knowing that spring is on its way is that it's not dark anymore when I get off work. Now it's almost 6 p.m. and well it's a sunset but still it is still light outside and that makes me so happy <laughs> that it's not dark all the time. Thank you. 
three minutes. Chopsticks, a little bit, mix. Finish like this. It's a basic topping. How to eat a ramen? <laughs> <laughs> it's a Japanese style. If you go to Japan, don't surprise. Every Japanese like this. <laughs> more or more. Me and my friend are waiting for our turn to cook ramen, and of course we're last. But it's almost our turn. Getting hungry. <laughs> Dessert. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Mm. We also got some dessert. We got a Japanese style pancake filled with red bean paste and Soy sauce flavored ice cream. I have never had that before, so let's try that first. Yeah, it's surprisingly good. <laughs> it doesn't sound good, but it's really good. Hmm. We have now finished our ramen workshop. Did you like it? Yes, it was great. <laughs> it was really good and I'm very satisfied now and it has inspired me to go home and <laughs> try and make my own ramen from scratch. We are now walking back home and uh, my friend's really cold. <laughs> Even though it's not that cold, it's like, I don't know, plus five or something. But she's freezing. For me, after coming back from, from Finland, this is kind of warm, so... <laughs> I'm gonna stop filming so we can walk faster, so Natasha can get back home into warmth. Today I decided to get off work early and what a beautiful day it is! The sun is shining, the sky is completely blue, there's not a single cloud on the sky, the feeling is good. Today is the last day that my museum card is valid, but I have just come across this beautiful cherry blossom tree and I am currently super confused about this tree because it is way too early for cherry blossom trees to be blossoming. But now I'm feeling a bit stressed out because I have all these plans for this upcoming month in March with cherry blossom trees and now they are suddenly blooming much earlier but I'm hoping it's just this one random tree and not all of them. Um, I need to do some investigation today but I've now been standing here at this tree for a good 15 minutes so yeah let's head to the museum and yep yeah, let's head to the museum <laughs> let's go my original plan for this afternoon was to visit this museum it's a museum about like the history of Egypt and archaeology and like that kind of stuff. The weather is so nice. It is such a beautiful day and it feels like kind of a waste to go inside in a museum. I'm sure there will be a lot of rainy days still ahead of us. I had a peek inside and it was also surprisingly busy. I think I'm gonna change my plans and we are actually right next to the botanical garden here in Leiden and maybe we could visit that instead and this way we can spend time 
outside instead of just inside. I am so happy with my choice of deciding to do something outside instead. This Hortus Botanicus botanical garden here in Leiden is definitely one of my favorite spots in the whole city. It's really beautiful. Depending on what time of the year you visit, it is always completely different. So yeah, it's really lovely. It is very early spring though. I was surprised to see that one cherry blossom tree. There are some cherry blossom trees here too. I'm skeptical though that they would be blooming already and I'm kind of hoping that they're not, but maybe something's already blooming let's explore together and see how far along spring is by now Like I said, always when coming to Hortus Botanicus, you always find something you haven't seen before. And now I found this really beautiful flower. I have no idea what kind of flower it is, it doesn't say. If you know what kind of flower this is, please let me know in the comments. Next, let's go into the greenhouse here. It is very hot and humid in there though, so I'm gonna switch to my phone camera because yeah, the lens fogs up immediately when I try and use this camera. <laughs> yeah, let's go. So I have come to the cafe here at the Botanical Garden, but I must say there's surprisingly a lot of people. Apparently there's some kind of vacation going on. I ordered myself some iced tea, so nothing super exciting, but I just wanted something refreshing to drink. I'm now gonna start heading home. I'm really happy that I chose to go to the botanical garden instead because of this beautiful day and weather. Yeah, I'm sure the museum would also be really interesting and cool. Let me know if you would be interested in seeing that museum as well, then maybe I can visit it in a future video. I'm gonna head home now and end this vlog here. So I hope you have enjoyed it and I'll see you guys again on my next adventure. Bye bye.